All right, so do a square lashing. You've got two pieces, nine degrees to each other. Grab your sand twine. I put my mallet into the spool. You can just unwind a bunch. I'm gonna guesstimate here. Put that under there. Put this under here. Dip it around. This is one turn around everything. So it's from there to there. So I'll just take that and I'll double it up and keep doubling it up for eh, five or six. Call it two fathoms. Cut it, do a quick splice, doesn't really matter how you do that one. Okay, so there's our little quick splice. Pass your same twine through. Here's your loop. Place the loop over. And I did move that around so that it would tighten down better. The loop. Okay, and now we're going to pass this around. And I'm going to point on a little bit. Pinch your thumb right there to keep your tension. What well, little tension you have, honestly, right now. My thumb stays here to keep the tension I just pulled. Sometimes I check to see how tight that is. If it feels good, I'll keep going. If I think I could do better, I will take off that turn and tension it again. When you do this, try to make sure this doesn't bind on the side you're trying to get tight. So right now I put, I put it on top of these two turns, so this one is free. It's hard to see that, but those are free to get tightened. Mm -hmm. 
stack your turrets so they look nice and neat. Clearly, one side right now of mine is much nicer than the other side right now. You can also do this with a spike as a lever. Throw on your spike catch. And then Ooh, there's a hole in there. Place the tip there, and now all this is your lever arm to pull it nice and tight. So if you don't have a mallet on hand, spike works too. I like the mallet, it's fun. Also, you can hold the mallet perpendicular and pull like that to get tension, which I like. Okay, I didn't count my turns here, but I've got one, two, three, four there, one, two, three, four there. So now we are going to do our fraps. So it comes up from below here. Zoop. And now we're going to take this and we're going to go around the whole thing. So it's going around like that. Pops out here, comes around, and All that tight. Sometimes you can take a full turn around like I just did and tighten it. Sometimes you're gonna have to only tighten in sections. For example, I'll go around just that and then we'll tighten that. Theoretically. Okay. And then we tighten just here to here. And then get the other half. So now to finish this, we're going to do a clove hitch around all of this. So, can do our fraps with a clove hitch. So, this comes all the way around, this will come up from below. So that is one half hitch. Now I'm going to tighten it from this side so that the half hitch goes into the fraps. I put it over, over here because of the mallets up here, it gets pulled away. And now I'll do the same thing one more time. Go all the way around from below to above.
yeah, we're just gonna start on the other side. After that first half hitch, it should hold your uh, tension pretty tension pretty well. I got some tension to that. We'll do this again. That is your square lashing. Now this you would tie an overhand. If you tie in the direction the twist is, it'll stay a little tighter. Which is to say, twist it. If it gets tighter, the leg gets tighter. Tension out in that direction. If it opens up like this, don't tie in that direction. So we're tying this one counterclockwise. Don't cut too close to the knot. If you cut too close, it's gonna un untie itself. You need some of this here. This will inevitably slip a little bit. If you did all your things correctly, it shouldn't slip that much though. 